Alrighty, this is an exposure box. We're going to use it for several different things. Uh, mainly creating a photo masks for screen printing and sandblasting and whatnot. Each one of these bulbs have two of these set up on it. These are called tombstones. Yeah, I purchased 20 of them off of eBay for maybe 10 bucks. These come in two different uh, forms. There's tombstones for instant start ballast, and then there are tombstones for regular ballast. These are tombstones for regular ballast, but I'm using instant start ballast on it, and you can get away with that by how you wire them. If you pull out two hots on one side and join them together, then wire them into your hot, and do the same thing with the neutral on the other side, these will work for instant start ballast. And that's how I have these wired up. Um, I'll show you a picture of the other side in a second so you can see how the ballast are wired in. And here, and how the plug comes out. But you can pretty much see how the ballasts come out. We have the blue wire, which is actually our hot wire. And it joins off and runs on each side of the bulb. And then you can see our red wire, which is our neutral on the, that side. Wires in two places on, on the bulb as well. You can see how our mains come in and split off and join the ballast. And I did actually ground the ballast this time. So everything is wired up as it should be wired and now we will work on the uh, top part of the exposure box all right this is our our top piece of the exposure box i've already pre-drilled and got screws in the holes ready for fastening down to the the bottom part of the, the box i've taken These, which are mirror clamps, used for mounting mirrors to the back of doors and things like that. And I have eight of those. Two of them are currently off. But they go all the way around to hold a piece of glass down. Now this was actually shelving material. The bottom piece of this box is made out of it as well. But I'm going to take some foil tape and wrap it around the inside of edge of this frame so that I will not have little pieces of wood coming off while I use this. So now we have the foil folded around our edge. Be careful if you're leaving the screws in like I did because if one of them is slightly sticking outwards, you will find it. But that's okay. So, next thing, next order of business is putting in our glass. Taking the time and got the holes right, our glass should just slide right in. Ooh. Especially if we put it in the right way. Slide right on in there. Now this is, is glass, so forcing it would not be wise. That worked out very well. Alright, and here we go with our little, if you can see what those look like or not. Uh, they are this little clasp. They sell them in the mirror section of your local Lowe's, Home Depot. These happen to be quarter inch length 
feet or height for a quarter inch thick glass in this case. Um, you can also get them in eighth of an inch thickness too. They don't really put any pressure on the glass. They just keep it from sliding around or sliding out. And before we uh, bolt this guy down to the box, we're going to clean the back side of this glass up real good with some glass cleaner and mop up any dust, sawdust or whatever we find in the box too. So it doesn't get slammed around up against the glass when we're moving the box around. And I tell you what, before we do that, let's put some feed on the back of this box. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got all four of our feet on the box now. Now we're going to lay it back down. And we're going to do our best to clean off the glass. Just use some glass cleaner. Make sure that it is on. Now we just need to flip her over and bolt her down. Alrighty, there we go. Um, now it's time to work on the lid. This is our lid. Uh, it may look familiar. It's actually the piece that came out of the hole. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to give it the same full treatment around it. We're going to put two handles on top of it to make it easier to lift it on and off. And then we're going to take some cabinet padding and contact cement it to the bottom of it. We may do two layers of that. But let me go ahead and wrap the foil around this and mount the handles and I'll be right We are back. We have foiled the edges and we now have our handles on. The next step of the process involves taking some of this easy liner and putting it on the bottom side of this uh, centerpiece. And how we're going to do that is we're going to use some contact cement and some brushes. And we will be right back to start that process. Alright, this contact cement requires a clean surface. I'm not real sure how this melamine finish is going to work, so we're going to take some a denatured alcohol and give it a quick wipe over. Just to make sure it's as mostly clean as possible. A little dirty. We'll let that flash off and then we'll come back and apply the contact cement to both. Yeah, if we can get the lid back on the alcohol, we'll put the contact cement on both the top and the cabinet material. So our instructions say to use a paint stirrer and thoroughly stir the contact cement up. Apparently there's a bird in the background that really enjoys this process. 
Ah, so that's thorough enough. I don't know, there's some gunk down there. Let's give it another. Oh yeah. If you don't make a mess, it doesn't count, right? <laughs> this lid of contact cement will never see it again. <laughs> Alright. So, we will apply this stick to the edge. Here's a brush that we're going to use to apply. We're going to call that it. I'll see you back in a little bit. Ooh, make a little testy there. I did have to mask and tape the uh, shelf liner down because it was rolling up like crazy. We'll get some scissors and then we'll come back and press this down the right way. Alright, so we got some scissors. We're going to cut the excess off. Maybe. We may just talk about it. Did not think it would take that long to cut it off. <laughs> Still didn't think it would take that long. Alright, go. Ooh. All right, now that we got that out of the way, what you need to do oh, is turn this dude over. Now you can see exactly how clean of a workspace I had. Then you need to find something smooth and hard and apply pressure to it. Try to get all the air bubbles out. But there you have it. Let me come back with a razor blade and trim that off too. There you go. The glue has had time to try the contact cement. I've trimmed the edges off. It turned out really well, I think. The, of course the fit pretty good. I'm really impressed. I've tried it out a couple of times. It seems to work great. The handles are really nice. I've got a handle on one side of the box itself. I've since seen some other designs which if I had it to do over again I would probably implement where it was just a sheet of glass over the top and not a, not a trim ring around it. But you know, it's fun. It's a learning experience. It was a really nice project. The padding I'm using on the back of the board is actually a cabinet shelf liner. And I went with a black because you really don't want reflectivity behind your transparency or whatever. Whatever it is you're hitting with the UV light because you end up, it just messes up your your, your project. You end up getting ghost lines and things like that. So I did go with the dark colored cabinet liner. It's squishy. You can 
put your finger in it and leave a dent for a little while. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the, the project. Of course, you can see my two ballasts through the screen. But give me a second and we'll get some power on and I'll let you see that this thing actually powers up and we'll, we'll be done with this aspect of this particular project. Okay, so I've got some power going now. And of course, in true fashion, to quick is better, best is best figured out later. I did not put a power switch on this unit. I plug it straight in. Usually don't expose anything for more than 20 seconds at a time anyway, so I'll just plug it in and I'll count 20 seconds off and then unplug it. Seems to work pretty well. But anyway, proof of concept aside, let me plug this guy in and let you see exactly what we're dealing with. Whoop. There you go. Isn't that nice? And that's all we need. It works really well. Hope you all enjoyed.